one as well. Patching is also uh, done. Yeah. So you can see, guys, patching is completed. You can see and make sure all the components are patched. You can see green checks for all the components, especially for database engine, guys. If all the components are succeeded and database engine is failed, that means your patching is not completed. It was partially patched. Okay, so make sure all the components are showing green. Otherwise, okay, you will get the errors and um, again, okay, uh, sometimes your SQL Server won't start. Sometimes your SQL Server won't work properly. Okay, so a lot of challenges will be there. So make sure all the components are successfully patched and uh, just check whether all are showing green checks or not. If any patching related errors are there, you want to see that is that we can track it using summary file, guys. This is the path to open the summary file. Okay, if you click on it, it will tell you it will open a notepad and it will tell you okay. So whether your patching is passed uh, patched or not. Okay, passed means it was successful. Sometimes you can see pass uh, passed with the uh, errors or cancelled user cancelled means someone initiated the patching but because of some other issues or server rebooted, so patching is cancelled. So you can see everything in the summary.txt file. You can track. In case if patching is failed, you can track why it was failed in the in the summary.txt file. It will show you guys what is the reason why the patching is failed. You can check in the summary.txt file. Okay, so this is how it will work, guys. And once patching is completed, the thing is you have to verify whether it was changed. So if if you patched your SQL Server with a C28, guys, so what would be the build number? Okay, what would be the bill number guys? Just click on this link. You can see now tell me guys. What is the bill number for CU28? What is the bill number? What is the bill number guys? 14.0 3 0. What is the current bill number? At least one digit what is the current bill number before patching what is the bill number anyone remember that bill number 14.0 dot 13900 okay 1000 dot 169 so now if you refresh it guys now you can see 3430 you can see this number 3430.2 okay so it was patched to latest service pack cumulate update right see here 14.0.3430. Okay, what is this? 3436. Huh? Or might be some other variant, but almost same. Okay, so 3436.1. And if you have any doubt, run this query again. Earlier you can see only RTM, right? Run this again. Once patching is successfully completed. Oh, it was CU29 it is showing. Okay, so it is showing might be I downloaded CU29 file, but it is showing CU28 only, right? Okay, done. So you can see here the small variant is there that's why it is showing like that 3436 which is showing cu29 guys uh, in this file we have different different updates okay based on the update it is showing cu29 okay so this is how you have to work with this guys this is how you have to patch it and once patching is done you have to monitor like this check whether the bill number is changed or not it is showing 14.0.3436 here also it is showing 14.0.3436.1 okay and uh, the the bill number that was applied the, the cu cumulative update is cu29 guys so you can see here cu29 okay so that is how you have to check whether your sql server is patched or not and again after uh, applying the patches you have to verify whether all the services are up and running or not whether all the databases are online or not okay after patching you have to verify again okay earlier i don't see i am unable to expand this databases now I can see my databases. No issues with my database. Flipkart is working fine and sales is working fine. No issues with my tables and all. All my tables are there. Whatever tables I have created. Might be I didn't create any tables in the Flipkart. Okay, tables. Let me go to tables. So all tables will be there. Objects and all. Nothing will happen to your objects, guys. Everything will be there. Only thing is it will be upgraded from lower version to higher version. That's it. Okay, guys. Any issues, any doubts in the patching? Remaining whatever one to few points are there that we'll discuss tomorrow. We don't have time right now. That's why. Yeah. Any questions you can ask me. Otherwise, we'll try. No questions? 
Yes, yes, please. Robotic patching is failed. That we'll discuss tomorrow. What if patching is failed? Okay. So can we uninstall the patch or not? So everything will be discussed tomorrow. In case customer is asking, hey, after patching, I'm unable to connect to the application. What we have to do? These things will be discussed. Will be covered tomorrow. Okay. Next, guys. Any other questions? Okay. Any difference between uh, patching and upgrading? Difference between patching? Yes, I'll tell you. During upgrading, you will get an idea. Okay. Upgrading means one version to another version. That is called upgradation. One version to another version. I want to upgrade from 2017 to 2019. That is upgradation. Applying the update is called patching. If you patch it, your version won't be upgraded. Only the patches will be applied. Applying the updates is patching. Okay. Upgrading from one version to another version is called upgradation or migration. During migration, migration class, you will get an idea. During patching, only these two numbers will be changed, guys. Again, I am saying last two digits only will be changed during patching process. Even though you are applying service packs, even though you are applying cumulative updates, anything you are applying, only last two numbers, two third part and fourth part are going to be changed in the patching. Whereas upgradation, the whole number, whole bill number will be changed. If you upgrade from 14 to 2017 to 2019, so you can see 14.0 to 15.0, it will be changed. So upgradation is upgrading your version. Patching is applying the updates, guys. Any questions? Can we roll back the patch? Yes, yes, we can roll back. We can roll back. That we'll discuss tomorrow. Okay, uh, Next. Uh, sir, as you said that uh, if the databases are large. Mm -hmm. Please mute if it. The databases... Who is keep on talking? Shivashankar? If you don't have questions, okay, please mute it, Shivashankar. Last time also I muted you again, it was unmuted. Okay, guys. Yes, please. Someone is asking the question. Uh, yeah, Harminda, yes, sir. Yeah, Arminda. sir. If if the databases, as you said, that if the databases are very large, we need to we need not to take the backup. Correct, correct. For small uh, databases also, we'll, we don't encourage to take the backups. Uh, why? Because uh, taking backups is a time taking process. If it took almost so case, two hours, three hours, okay. Yeah, uh, so can we start three hours before, uh, like, uh, that's your we wish. plan? If you want, you can start three hours before also. That's your wish, no issues. But for that three back. hours, patching two hours, uh, mm -hmm. uh, whole day, are you going to spend on the patching only? Mm -hmm. So that's right. why we don't encourage the uh, taking backups. In case customer asks any critical databases, you will take the backup of specific databases. Instead of that, ask Windows team. They will take the whole system backup. If something goes wrong, they will restore the whole system again. Right. That will take that only 20 on the... to 25 minutes. That's it. So it depends totally on the criticality of that particular correct, server. Correct. Depends on the criticality. If you feel, if customer said, please be cautious with this server, it's very critical server. Take the Windows team help, VM team help. Ask them to take the VM snapshot. Raise the request. They will ask, we need a request. Then only we'll take the backup. Raise a request, assign to them, they will take it before patching. It will take, even though the server is too big, it will, hardly it will take 20 to 30 minutes to take the VM backup, VM level backup. Something goes wrong, you can ask them to restore it again. Nothing goes wrong, you can ask them to delete the VM backup. Why? Because if the machine is 2 GB, I mean like 2 TB, again the VM backup is also very huge in size. You have to tell them, you have to update them. If your patching is successful, you have to update them. Patching is successful, you can delete the VM backup. Right. Like that, you have to update them. Okay. Right, sir. Any questions, guys? Chalo. Okay, we'll connect tomorrow at 7 a.m. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you.